So check it out, right? Alright. Let me know if you ever been in a situation like this. You know somebody is using you. You know they ain't no good for you. But you also know that you love them to death. You love them to death, and if they die, then you would love them back to life and resuscitate them. Let's get into it. Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752, and this is your daily, daily, the daily, the daily. Go get them. Is them number one. K five nine. 1K59 for August 23rd, 2017. So have you ever been in a situation? Have you ever felt the heat? The heat. Been so in love with somebody. And I'm not talking about when you just are infatuated with somebody. I'm not talking about any false love. I'm not talking about no love at first sight. I'm not talking about no obsession. I'm not talking about that, that stalking stuff. I'm not talking about making somebody's life uncomfortable. I'm not talking about when when you are almost revenge loving. Revenge loving. Revenge loving? All right. We'll get that we we'll, we'll get it get at that at another time. But look. So you know, have you ever felt it like that? You know somebody is really using you. And I don't mean using you in a, in a good way. And I don't mean consenting adults. I mean that somebody is dece deceiving you, treating you bad, almost to the point point of harming you. They are not representing for you, but you know they are doing you in a certain kind of way that is just you know taking your heart and putting it through a a, a, a food processor. It's messed up. And you don't really have any defense against them because you are so, so deep in. And yeah, this thing happens to men as well as women. I know a lot of people don't think that men ever feel like that. But I've had my, my shoulder cried on before. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a man put his hands in his, his head in his hand. Like, oh man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've seen brothers... Brothers go back to a woman that had a baby on them while they were married, while they were while they were still together. Child ain't his. He know it wasn't his. He was back with her before she was before she wasn't before she um had the baby. But he couldn't he couldn't really defend himself against it because he felt that that love so strong. And I say that it is love. See, I mean, don't get don't get me wrong. I'm one of those people who does believe in love. In love, I really do. I think that is probably the most powerful emotion in the world. It's the thing that makes you really, really do something positive for somebody, and it also does something positive for yourself. It actually increases the positive hormonal activity inside of you. But what do you do when the love that you have inside of you is being tested on a daily basis? Because somebody is really doing you right, so you are in love with somebody who doesn't have, who doesn't have your best interest at heart. Did I just say that right? Yeah. You're in love with somebody who's not doing you right. They don't have your best interest at heart. I mean, when it really all comes down to it, it's almost like they don't care if you come, go, lay, stay, or pray, come back, thanks, come back another day, whatever. You know. They might lie to you, cheat on you, even steal from you, take all your money. Have no regard for the effort that you put in to try to bring y'all closer together. No, no regard for that, no respect for that. What do you do? What do you do? You in love with a user. You in love with an abuser. Not necessarily physically abusive, but sometimes that's the case too. But let's take let's take physical abuse off the table. You ever been in love with somebody to the point where you know, you know they don't really by their actions, and maybe even sometimes by their words, they don't mean you any good. They are not re representing for you. They are not holding it down for you. They are not in your corner. You could probably you probably can't get them to defend you on anything. Almost feel like you almost feel like when y'all together. Y'all really separated. 
but you love her. And I have to pay homage to that. I have to pay respect to that. Because when you're in a situation where you are truly in love with somebody to the point where you would allow them to use you and abuse you, and you still show them love, well, that's just something that, in my opinion, deserves respect. Whether or not I would allow it to happen to myself, that's not the point. Whether I even respect that, mm, it's not the point. I do respect it. I respect it because I know that it has to be real. And just because I haven't felt it, not that way, it doesn't make it any less real. It doesn't make it any less authentic. It doesn't make it only good for you and bad for everybody else. And that's one of the reasons I don't call people stupid anymore. There may have been a time I would have called you stupid for letting somebody do you wrong. But I kind of see how it works. And once, once you understand how something works, you respect how it works. Whether or not it works for you. Some things are your business and some things really aren't. So we have to roll with the punches. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And any, 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 any anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, listen. When you love somebody to the point where you allow yourself to be used, it's a very conf confusing situation because it'll have you lying to your people, lying to your loved ones, lying to your friends, lying to your coworkers, lying to your, your neighbors, lying to anybody who knows anything about you and your partner. Because you know that y'all ain't really together. Y'all are apart together. But hopefully, I don't know. This is one of those situations that's probably the hardest thing to turn around. But don't worry about it, though. Listen, the Daily go get Ism show is every single day, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call in number 319-527-6199. BlogTalkRadio.com forward slash sun seven five.